Today we're opening the newest OTS, OTS 20. What's up guys, we're back with another epic OTS opening video. And in today's video, we have a giveaway. I will be giving away this 2020, not 2022, not 2021, 2020 Megaton. You can get the original Red Eyes Dragoon here, which would be pretty cool. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this newest OTS set. We're gonna check out all the cards, hopefully in this video. Hopefully we'll pull all of them. We, we have a lot of OTS packs. So prepare to be amazed. This is going to be a longer opening. Not really probably that long because there's only three cards per pack. We do this pretty much every time the OTS comes out when we can. Let's open them up and see what we can get. The ultimate rares, I think. OK, so I got the list over here. We got the Ray, Sky Striker is Ray. That is the number one card in the set. Then we have an Aluber and we have Ghost Reaper. So Aluber has gotten multiple reprints right off the bat. You know, it was super expensive as a secret rare. Then they reprinted it and goes from the past two. And now it's got the ultimate rare printing. So it seems like they do that a lot. They do the first reprint and then they do like multiple others right after. So let's see if we can pull it. That's a good one. Oh, Rux and Special already. Neko Main King is getting hey, it's getting a print because of uh, I don't even know some deck that's that's using this. This was also an MFC common originally, so they're getting a super rare OTS. Probably good because that common was like ten dollars, so definitely helpful for that value. The other one is the Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, which I don't think is super highly played right now, but it's a Ghost Girl card. It's a hand trap, so that's probably potentially valuable at some point in the future. We have the Grandmaster Sizo because anytime those like format specific hand traps you know get popular in a specific format then they can go up to a lot of value let's see what the best super rare is it looks like herald of the orange light is the best one necromane king again so we're taking that pretty decent nimble beaver is in here and is expensive it's a two dollar and fifty cent card the size oh whoa i just rucks the special okay morphtronic earphone that is that an earphone isn't that like a raging battle card i'm not sure but the uh, Sizo seems to be decent as well. Let's see what we can get. The art book. These feel really weird. It feels like they're like Pharaonic Guardian where the edges are a little bit turned in. I don't know. It feels a little bit awkward to, to open these up. All right. So we have 100 packs. So there's going to be a decent amount of opening, but it, there's such small packs. We go. Oh, there's wait. They're at the front. Wait, this is a different. Wait a second. These look different. Aluber, the Jester of Despia. This looks a lot different than normal than the OTS 19. If you guys remember OTS 19 and absolutely atrocious printing. What is that on the back? There's a bunch of junk on there. Does that come off? It doesn't seem like it does. There's a big white dot on there. Unfortunately, this seems a lot. It looks a lot shinier to me. I don't know. This doesn't really look as much like the past OTS, which were like really terrible quality. I think that maybe they bumped it up a little bit because of how bad it was. So the Aluber right off the bat, we have an ultimate rare. That's beautiful. Usually get five or six out of 100 packs, something like that. But it can vary, so we'll see. Sometimes I've even seen people get like you know, 10 and 12 before out of like different OTS packs, so it can go crazy. Weird how the ultimate rare was at the front, that kind of kills the suspense. So the ultimate's at the front and the supers are at the back. So I guess we're just gonna flip them over and find out right off the bat if we have one. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Don't love that, but that's just how it goes. These cards are extra slippery. They really like the Rux and Special to be an easy thing. They always want it to happen. They want Rux and Special to happen right away. Also, my hands are cold. So it just makes it even harder. I don't know if you, if you know guys know what I mean. You probably are like, what does that have to do with anything? It does. I promise it has something to do with something. I don't know what, but it has something. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get another ulti. Can we get the Sky Tracker? That's like a $93 card. Pretty expensive. Um, we would love to, of course, pull all three of them. That'd be really great. So far, we haven't pulled a lot of them. The Naturia Sacred Tree and Naturia Marion are over $1 commons, which is pretty expensive for a common. We've got Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller gets printed, it feels like, almost every OTS. It's really weird. Every OTS pack has some sort of Abyss Dweller. I think there was a Super recently. There was an ulti in OTS 13, I think. Neko Main King for like the fourth time. So Abyss Dweller, there's prints of that guy. Like if you don't have one yet, just buy some OTS or get some OTS at your local tournament store or whatever. You will get an Abyss Dweller at some point. These are the kind of like packs that they're very wrinkly, so you can't really like set them down very well. What is that? Look at the back. Oh my gosh. What is that? We've got a bent card or maybe it's not bent. Is that just a scratch? I don't know. There's something on there. So that guy's kind of messed up, but you can't lay these packs down because they don't lay flat. So you just got like 
you stack up a, a stack of five and it looks like it's a stack of 20 packs because they won't lay down so well. So that's kind of a, a struggle I'm having right now. I'm laying them down to my left and they're just taking up so much room. I'm running out of room way faster than usual. All right, OTS. I feel like this one is not quite as exciting as some of the other OTSs. I feel like the ultis are like all decent. Like none of them are bad, but nothing. I'm not like, wow, I really need this card. There's no Cyber Dragon alt art, Forbidden Droplet, Infinite Impermanence, you know, stuff like that. I guess Skill Drain was really cool last time. There's nothing like that this time. I guess the Ghost Girl could be like that, but that's also the least exciting. Sky Striker, Ace Ray, the Sky Striker people are gonna love that one. That's gonna be a really good one. So I guess that is a decent one overall. So it's a pretty decent OTS. It's not one that we're jumping off the shelves to grab or whatever. We're not trying to grab this thing ASAP, but it's still pretty cool. I'm happy with it so far. So I guess the, what, is there any really cool like old reprints? I guess Neko Main King is the old card. Cause usually there's at least like one old card in here. It's like one that's too expensive as like a common or a rare and they reprint it. What in the world is going on? These are just the weirdest packs. And they usually reprint it in OTS just to calm it down so people can actually have access to it and not have to buy a $10 old common and stuff like that. These open so weird. They definitely changed up something for these. They seem to have changed the print completely like the print of the cards and then the actual booster packs feel different too so they may i don't know if they used a new factory or if they updated them after there's finally an orange light that's like the best super rare it's like seven to eight dollars we finally get one but i think that's that one has never had a foil it's always been like a rare out of the original set or something like that and they finally actually got one option token but it feels like they switched it up because the ots 19 has had it had such, such bad print quality and a lot of the recent sets there's another herald that's back to back well almost back to back. So I'm guessing that because of that garbage, you know, printing recently, they've tried to step it up and maybe they switch to another place or they just, oh, there we go. Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. And I'm telling you guys, these ultis look better. They're like shiny. I don't know. They look really nice. And, but the problem is they got these white dots on the back, which is kind of a bummer. So it's not like the worst thing ever. It could be worse. Like the other ones that just have edge wear and be bent and way off center. That was OTS 19 was the worst I've seen in a while. All right. But yeah, they definitely did something. They definitely did something. And I'm guessing it was because of last time. And it was so bad. Naturia Marion, is this the good one? Marin and Sacred Tree. I got to keep an eye out for that. Okay, I just thought about other commons. I need to be grabbing King of the Swamps too. Amazon is Shamanism. Those are all apparently over a dollar, but I haven't been keeping track really of those. That's the thing with OTS. They usually reprint good cards. So almost everything is at least decent. Even if it's not a dollar, it's like a decent card. So it's like worth it to hold on to a lot of the time. So that's, I somehow grabbed two packs. I was trying to open two packs at once. We got Abyss Dweller and we got the Anshomofrite, I cannot say that correctly, but I will try. Let's see what we can do. We have Gadget Gamer. Gadget Gamer, he's a gamer. Oh yeah, not only a gadget, but he's also a gamer. That's a win-win right there. Hanzo, there's, okay, the King of the Swamp. Cool, we'll pull that guy out. Okay, let's keep looking. So far, two ultis, not bad. We've pulled, okay, there's the Sacred Tree, Hanzo, and the, the Anshomofrite, or whatever that is. I'm sure it's had a print before, but that thing I have pulled a lot of those. We've got the Shuri Marin and the Gadget Gamer back at it again. He's still gaming. He's still gadgeted. Let's see what else we can pull. We got the Hanzo. We got the ha Hanzo again. And that card again? Really? How many times are we going to pull that guy? It's a lot of times. All right. What are we going to get this time? Armed Wing is in here. What? And then the Elephant. Oh, wait, what? This one's in the back? And another Ghost Reaper, which is also the worst one. So that's actually not great. But the Elephant, which is cool. And then we have Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries again so that's weird that that one's at the back why are they sometimes at the front and then at the back on this one i'm really confused by that okay we'll take it another ulti so we got two ghost reapers which is not only the worst but it's by far the worst it's like 49 bucks the other ones are 63 and 93 so not the one we're really looking for but we still haven't pulled the best one which is the ray that's what always seems to happen we pull the best one once and the other two twice that's what happens i don't know why there's a nimble beaver so we got a beaver in the house very nice i keep grabbing two of them because i can't even tell that i'm grabbing two instead of one we have naturia tree and that card for the 10th time i've literally pulled that guy a million times i don't see him on here so oh wait dollar 35 so he's not too bad actually pulling him a bunch is not terrible but by the time you know i actually end up selling them they'll probably be like 50 cents so probably won't matter anyway but i usually try to sell cards over a dollar but i've been traveling so much i have not had my tcg player inventory on much recently i've been keeping it off because i don't want to get behind because i have to do videos first priority number one is making sure you guys have a video every day priority number two is selling cards so uh sometimes i get behind it on selling and i really need to like get to it but when i've been gone every weekend for the last six weeks and i'll be gone for the next two weekends Kind of have to do it. Um, kind of have to turn off the TCG player for a little bit just so I don't go crazy when I come home. But uh, yeah, that's so I'm a little bit behind on selling some of those one dollar cards that I normally sell. But we'll see if we can catch up with it. We've got the Nimble Beaver. Just check this dude out. Nimble Beaver. 
he's nimble he's a beaver and he's biting a stick yes he is doing that that is pretty impressive okay we've got a ninja grandmaster size they really are trying to reprint all and and like make new ninja stuff recently like a bunch it's kind of weird i guess they really want ninjas you know to have a chance now but don't they aren't they terrible so i guess it's not working i don't know ninja grandmaster saizo at it again all right and this upcoming weekend speaking of being gone is pasadena so if you are gonna be at pasadena I will also be a passive. It is going to be quite interesting. I'm excited for it. King of the Swamp. Very nice. And ooh, the Alubra, the Jester of Despia. So now we've pulled two of each of the second and third best and none of the best ones. So we got Rose still waiting and we've got an Alubra. Very cool. Kind of interesting that Rose. I like how they make a Starlight of something and then they like make it an ulti like immediately <laughs> or a Collector Rare and then they make it an ulti or it already has an ulti. They make it a Collector Rare. Like they love to double print stuff and like have two high rarities. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't understand why they do that. Because, uh, you know, Rose has a Starlight and now they're making it into, you know, an Ultimate Rare. They'll probably make a Collector Rare after this. It's like, I guess they know people like it, so they just keep on printing it in different versions. Very interesting strategy, but it's a thing that they do. Sp back to Pasadena. I will be there. It's going to be fun. Hopefully I will see you guys there. I think there's going to be a lot of people there. I think it like sold out already, like really fast. So, you know, the main event is going to be you know, it's already maxed out. So if you're if you're not signed up, you can't make it in at this point. It's going to be crazy. I think like pretty much every other YouTuber is going to be there. You know, it's going to be pretty wild. So I'm, I'm excited to see all you guys there that are from California that maybe have not met me yet. So make sure to say hi. All right. There are still a lot of packs left. This is uh, quite a bit of packs. We're still looking for that rose. I would love to pull that uh, Ninja Grandmaster size. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll have to grade some of these ultis. I don't usually do that. But maybe if we have some great, well, that's well, last time they weren't gradable. That's why it was going to be a, like a seven if I sent it in. So there's no point. But these do have those dots, but maybe they could get away with it. The Neko main king. I've grabbed two multiple times. There's something these things are just like, I don't know. I can't tell when I'm grabbing one or two because there's just these these, these little flaps feel weird. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll have one of those boxes that has like because we pulled two of, it, of each already. So maybe we get lucky and have one that has you know, like eight, 10, 12 ulties. It doesn't happen very often, but I have seen it happen. So that would be pretty sick if that would happen. I don't think it's gonna happen though. It seems like we're kind of on pace for a normal like five or six. Uh, I mean, there's still a lot of packs left. So maybe we're a little, I would say on pace for past five, maybe, maybe six. Hopefully we'll get two rows. I mean, that would be nice. It'd be nice and even get two of each, but I don't think that's actually gonna be the case, but we'll see. We'll see if it happens. We just gotta believe guys in the comments. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you think about this OTS. I like to hear about what you guys think about these OTS packs. I feel like most of the time they're some of the best sets we get all year. The OTS stuff, it's really, really good. Option token, cool. So that'd be pretty sick if it was, I know, if you guys like it. Also, hopefully the next OTS is even better because I love when there's a banger OTS coming out. More Hail to the Orange Light. You'll love to see it. Let's see if we can keep getting those because those are very solid value. Option token, cool. We've still got, I would say, 20. 20 packs left something like that sacred tree herald of the orange light okay what can we get the rest of the way will we get some epic cards will they be the ultimate rare so far man i can't believe we haven't pulled a rose yet like we've opened a lot of packs and no rose so i, I mean i wanted to pull every card but we might not actually we got the morphtronic earphone we've pulled both ultis and probably every other card i don't know for a fact we pulled every other card but these are pretty small sets so we probably have ninjutsu our notebook it's unlikely that we have not opened one of the commons or super rares Commons is almost definitely for sure. I would say supers are is possible maybe, but probably unlikely. Let's see what we can do. Hanzo, Art Notebook, cool. We've got a Elephant Statue of Disaster and... <laughs> Come on, man. Three winter cherries. Three winter cherries. The worst one. So right now it looks like we are getting scammed. We are not getting we are not getting the best card. We've got three winter cherries and two alubers. So we got three of the worst one, two of the second best, or the second the middle one. It's not the second worst. That would make it sound bad, but and then zero of the best one. So no rose. Unfortunate so far. We got a morph trying to gear fun. And honestly, that could be all of them. I mean, I hope it's not all of them, but it could be all of them. So we're going to see if that's the case or not. I don't know. You just got to believe that we can pull this out, guys. We've got Morphtronic Gear Fun. We got to pull out a great card. We have the Ninjutsu Art Notebook. So more Ninjutsus. That's just reminding me of, yeah, yeah you guessed it, Duel Links when Ninjutsu cards were really good. Ninjas were insane for a little bit, like a long, we're talking a long time ago in Duel Links. They were... They were very good, but yeah, that was a very, very long time ago. Nimble Beaver. Can we get that Sky Striker Ace Rose? Come on. 
Where's the rose? We got a great grave of the super ancient deep sea organism. Super ancient organism. Where did I get deep sea? I don't know, but that's a card from Raging Battle, I believe. It, it might have even been a super rare that got reprinted as a super rare, but that was a pretty expensive card that nobody had because why would you have that card from Raging Battle? And 5Ds is in that era where it has a lot of good cards or older good cards that have not really seen a reprint because like, why would you reprint them? And then you realize they're $20 and you're like, okay, maybe we should reprint them. That's what happens with all these 5Ds cards, like a pointer of the Red Lotus, that card, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, stuff like that. You just uh, realize that these cards are really expensive because nobody has them. You know, it's just like, why would you have kept that card? Why would you have that card ready to sell? And, uh, you know, then it gets really expensive because a few people that have them, you know, post them up for like five bucks and then they sell and then they post them up for 10 bucks and they sell and, you know, like that. And then eventually there's none left. So they got to get a reprint. That's kind of how it goes. We got the Ninjutsu Art Notebook. Look at the centering on this card. Oh my goodness. That thing has shifted up big time. We might not get a rose. We might not get one. It is not looking good. We've got Morphtronic Ear Fawn for the 40th time. Does it hear us? Does the ear hear us that we need? The Sky Striker Ace Rose. You got to believe. Believe in the heart of the cards. Let's go. We have Ninjutsu Art Notebook at it again. I don't think I've been pulling the Elephant Statues of Disasters out, but they are actually a good card. We have Zombie Stein. We have Saizo. We are very close to the end. It's going to be a little dicey. Will we pull a big card, Nimble Beaver? We've got, I think, like maybe five packs left, something like that. Our last chance to pull the ulti. Okay. King of the Swamp. You got to believe. You got to believe in the heart of the cards. Here we go. We've got double Mimesis Elephant. Very weird. All right. Four packs left. Is there an ulti in here? I hope there is. I hope there's a sixth ulti in this box. We have not done so hot. The Ghost Reaper being, you know, not, not a great one. We've got a Saizo. We've got three of those. And then we've got two Alubers. So... Uh, not great. Not great so far. Let's see. We've got Nimble Beaver. It is down to the last two packs, guys. Last two chances to get an ultimate. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We got King of the Swamp. We got Amazonas. Oh, yes. The second. I actually just swapped these. Like, I just flipped them around. This could have been the last pack. That would have been insane. Sky Striker Ace Ray. Have I been saying Rose? It's a different card. Isn't this card like this card's actually like really good for Sky Striker? I thought it was Rose the whole time. I guess I can't read, but you know, forgive me. It's, it's Ray. It's four letters versus Rose, four letters. It's very, you know, it's mistake. It's forgivable, okay? I said mistakeable. I wasn't going to say mistakeable. It's also a mistake. All right, so that's pretty sick. So we did get a Ray. I'll take that. Actually, a crazy card for Sky Striker. So yeah, that's actually a really good one. I thought it was Rose the whole time. I think Ray is even better. And we got a grave. All right, so the last pack, not too bad. Honestly, a pretty good opening because we got one at least of each of pretty much every card in here and a pretty decent set overall. Let me know what you think in the comments about this set. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then as I show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.